Hey my friends, welcome back to Irene Bisaza Home Network. I'm Irene and I hope you are doing fine. Uh, if you are new to our channel, please subscribe and uh, I talk about different things in Norway. And for you, my friend who is already here, uh, thank you for supporting me. And today I'm going, I just felt that I have to answer a question because I got this question. I made a video about uh, PhD uh, education in Norway. And I got a question that I want to um, clear a little bit more or talk about a little bit more. It was about when I said that, uh, let me read here, there is uh, an advert about a PhD uh, in, in, at a university in, at NTNU, Norwegian University of uh, Science and Technology. That's the university I went to. So uh, when uh, clearly here, uh, somewhere down here, I'm just going to read, you won't see. Uh, I'm going to read that they say that um, it's about the qualification requirement. The first thing I would say that get all your documents and send them to the international office when you are applying. So the international office, if you live in Norway, probably you've already sent your education uh, to NOKUT, uh, N O. K U T to to be uh, uh, so that you get um, uh, Gusheni uh, approval, yeah. Because I took my education from Uganda there uh, to be approved, yeah. So when they approve, then it, they are showing you what it is equivalent to this country. So let me read here the the uh, PhD position here. I'm just reading down the qualification requirement is that you have completed a master's degree or second degree equivalent to 120 credits with a strong academic background. Yeah. So depending on what you are applying for, you need 120 credits. And then they go and then they say education with a grade of B or better in terms of intense uh, grading scale. So wh what does this mean? Somebody asked me, yeah, you when so I'm going to look at my master um, uh, transcript. Yeah, of records uh, there. You find that if you look at there's always average degree grade. So maybe the average degree is B or A or C. That's what they talk about when they say a, with a grade of B uh, or better. Yeah. So somebody asked me what I mean when I say grade of B. That's what I mean, the average. So you maybe you have A, B, C, D, E, uh, F. Uh, that is the fail. But if you have that one, then the average has to be B. That means you've got more of B b's or a's and then i hope that is clear and when i mean uh, 120 credits what they mean here for those of you who come from different countries it could be a little bit confusing because if you have a master a masters in Norway, the masters most of them they are two years whereby one year is like 60 credits and then another year also like 60 credits that is 120 yeah you can even take more than that like me i took more i have more than 120 but they can give you uh, a certificate with uh, that which you've included in that and then they give you an extra for those extra credits you've you've taken yeah so when i look at my transcript here I see that there are some courses which have 7.5 credits and then there are some courses which have 15. So when you add those ones, they will come to 120. And then your master thesis, which for my case here, and that was 2008, it had 45 uh, credits. So uh, plus all these other courses, then you, ha you are going to come to 120. I hope it is more clear now and then the grades in Norway the master level they were grading a b and a and so on the phd i don't know it could be pass or yeah i i'm not talking about that i'm talking about 
those of you somebody from uganda also asked me about if he, your education is not from a career university but will be approved i i, I i'm not an expert here but I, I i'm i'm sharing my experience and what i'm saying is that i know students who are doing phd that are from chambogo university but that is also not a pub, uh, private you asked a private so what i would recommend is you send your uh, documents to the international office Every university in Norway, uh, in Oslo, in Bergen, in Trondheim, all those big cities, Stavanger, uh, Tromso, they have international section. You send your documents to the international, international section and then they will tell you or let you know. Yes. And when you send, even uh, there is this copy which shows the... A short description of uh, of your education or what you did because when i see here for example for you who is want to apply for a master i see uh, for example that time they say uh, entry requirements applicants must possess the degree of of, uh, for example, depending on whether, whether you are in a medicine or social sciences, they tell you what kind of a bachelor you need to have um uh, and how many credits that need to be in that and then uh, they also tell you that the master you are doing it's maybe for two years which are four terms and um, what you will gain from that master for example by the time you finish that there will be maybe a thesis and you have a supervisor and all that and then for example in Norway the master I took how it was being um, a, a, the grading scale uh, where like uh, from A to F or past fail in the scale of grades A is the highest passing grade and E is the lowest passing grade the grades are defined as A excellent B very good C good D satisfactory E sufficient and A fail so you send all those and then they will let you know that's why when in if you're applying for masters they are always they say if you are applying within norway like your education is already approved and you are in norway or scandinavia and then outside they have different deadlines because they, they the international office they have to look at that and then they they approve or they they tell you what to do yeah i hope i've answered you if you have any question i asked my colleague ellen about this um 120 points and she explained to me well so i'm sharing what she explained to me to you and i'm also reading some of the information here so good luck and uh, i hope you study more my parents always told me education is a key that can open many doors that's why i share my experience with you i hope that you take education seriously and you get your masters or your phd or your bachelor and have a good life take care of yourself and one thing i want to share with you is that always remember and be proud of who you are because none is like you stay blessed and bye so one thing you're gonna get used to nowhere is the darkness so right now it is uh, it's actually nine in the morning and this is how it still looks so i'm on my way from taking my boy to school to uh, nursery and then going to work so i have to walk here as i'm going to work and as you see it's still dark so we have such seasons and we have of course the summer so then the more north you go the change in the climate as in the weather everything changes because you've heard about the northern lights uh, the midnight sun but this darkness is something else but you get used to it yes